If you're here, then you've probably reached a point in your life where you're going to be able to understand what I'm about to say. I would call it an ism, but it's too, it's too large for that. It's too relevant. It's too big. I can't own it. I don't own it. So imagine you're in a very deep, deep well. It's dark and the walls are old slippery stones. They're all slimy with moss and they're rough and they're slippery and you can't get a grip on them. And you're way down in the bottom of this deep, dark well. And there's water around your ankles. And you can smell the salt and the seaweed. And up above you, amongst the wall cracks and the rocks, you hear what could be any kind of, some kind of insect or reptile life. Might be snakes. It's a cold, damp place. Snakes don't heat themselves, so maybe not. Could be. Could be anything. You can't see it. But you can feel it all around you. You can hear it. You can smell it. You know something's there. The water is slowly rising. You're looking up from the bottom of this deep, dark well. Way, way up at the top. Way up there. You see light. So you know it's daylight. So there's a chance maybe somebody will come by that can throw you a rope or something that can drag you up out of this well. Been there a while. It's been kind of tiring. Don't know how much longer you can handle it. And the water's rising. You're in this well. What are you going to do? You're just stuck. You can't get a grab on the walls. You don't know what's in the walls. Which is kind of frightening because you don't know what you're going to grab if you can get a grip on the walls. You can smell that the water is it's salty. It's coming in from somewhere big. You can see that the sun is changing. So it's getting later and later in the day. And it's going to be dark soon and you're stuck in this well. And you can't get out. And it's way down there and you're hollering and hollering and nobody's hearing you. And you're just stuck. What are you going to do? How are you going to get out of this well? How are you going to be able to save yourself? It's not going to be in your ego. It's not going to be through pride. It's probably not going to be without some kind of help. But who? Where is this help going to come from? Who is going to help you in the bottom of this dark, deep, slippery, slimy well that's rapidly refilling? You hear somebody coming along on the trail, <whistles> all in a good mood, walking along, and you're listening and you're trying to make sure you time it just right so they hear you. And just as you start to see a shadow over the rim of the well, you holler out, Hello, hello, help me. Can you help me down here? And the person stops whistling. <whistles> hello? You hear the voice call down the well. Help me, I'm stuck in the bottom of this well. Can you help me, please? Well, certainly I can help you. I'm a priest. Here's a prayer for you, my son. This will help you. They drop it down the well to you. But it's dark in the well. And pretty soon, the light is gone. And you can't see the paper coming down at you. It's gone. And there's water. And you can't feel it in the water. It all feels the same. There's other stuff in the water, too. And there's more stuff in the water than there was when you got there. And it's rising. And the priest has left. And you can't even get to the prayer. But you can pray, so you just make some prayers. 
Something's better than nothing that'll give me some strength, at least for the moment. Because I've got faith. And you're waiting and listening and hoping and praying. And you hear another person approaching, coming along on the trail. And you hear somebody talking, kind of a clipped, brusque, quick tones. Uh-huh, yeah, I understand. I'm on my way. Start the IV. Have the nurse give them 10 cc's. Oh, help is coming. And just as the shadow reaches the rim, as you see this fading sun, you call her out, help, help me. Can you hear me? And the person on the phone, and make sure you, hello, stops talking, starts looking for you. Help me, help me, I'm down in this well. Can you help me, please? And you're looking up and the water is climbing so fast and it's getting really scary and it's getting really dark and it's just overwhelming and you're pretty sure your time may be up if you can't get out of this well. But there's a person there. Yes, please help me. I'm stuck in this well. Certainly I can help you. I'm a doctor. That's what I do. I will help you. And they write you a prescription and they drop it down the well. Take some of these and call me in the morning. But the light is fading. And the paper is floating. And the light disappears. And the paper once again is floating in the darkness. And you cannot see it. And it is gone. And you mutter to yourself, Well, great. How am I going to fill that anyway? I'm stuck in the bottom of a well. Brilliant. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm stuck in this well. How are you going to get out of the well? And you pray some more because it's all you have left. It's all you know you heard in your childhood about this thing called faith. But that's all I've got. Just enough strength to pray one more time. Please get me out of this well. Help me, help me, God, help me. And you hear somebody approaching. Barely soft, barely discernible footprints. And you see a figure approach the top of the well and lean against it. And you holler out, hello, hello, help me, please, help me. Can you help me? I'm stuck in this well and the water's coming up and it's getting dark and I'm very frightened. Can you help me? And the person turns and you see them lean over and they look down in the well. Hello? It's dark. I can't see you. Is somebody down there? Yes, I'm down here, please. The water is rising and the walls are slippery and I hear something and I don't know what it is. I can't get out and the darkness is coming. Help me. Can you please send me a rope? Can you please help me? And right before your eyes, you see this person climb up on the ledge, sit on the edge of the well and jump in and land right next to you in the water. Where they give you a big hug and say, it's okay. It's okay. It's just a well. It's okay. And you're sobbing, you're so relieved that you're not alone, and it suddenly occurs to you, oh my God, you're in the well too. Now we're both stuck in the well. Oh my God, oh my God, now you're gonna die too because you're stuck in the well. And they very quietly release their hug and look you in your face and say, we're not stuck in the well. I've been in this well before and I will climb out with you. Hand to hand, breath to breath, fear to fear, and face to face. And we will get out together. I've been here before. And you know in that moment, that faith that you dug for to get you out of that well, what's well, at your rope? <laughs> and that's why I call them climbers. And that's why I call myself the climbing guide. 
Welcome to the healing of y'all. Let's go climbing. You will be the light. You don't need to bring one.